So, internal linking on a web page. You might have thought about doing this or uh, you have heard on the internet that internal linking is something you should be doing, but just the thought of it and thinking about like, how do I even interlink those 500 or a thousand pages that you have on your website, it will take forever. And I know it will take forever, which is why um, I'm going to show you how I do it with um, automation and some internal linking plugins. Um, because it'll like, if you don't run an agency, um, this will cost you a lot of money to outsource or cost you a bunch load of time if you do it yourself. So I'll show you a quick guide on how I do this uh, internal linking automatically using um, task magic and a plugin called Linksy. Um, and then I'm going to talk a bit, little bit about uh, the different ways to interlink articles and when you should do one or the other. So uh, let's jump into the video. Here we have our blog, homosi.blog. On this we have 1,769 articles published so far. We can see, um, yeah. So let me just go over the plugins and the programs that we're going to use. We're going to use the plugin called Linksy, L-I-N-K-S-Y, Linksy, from uh, Pluggy. And the only reason I'm using this is because I got it on a lifetime deal and it works pretty well for me. Uh, on top of that, we're going to use, or I'm going to use Task Magic um, by Jeremy here. He's a very enthusiastic guy. Then we have to install a plugin called, or we don't have to, but it helps. Um, this edit this cookie, which is up here in my uh, cookie thingy, because we're going to use the cookies from the browser to use in Task Magic. Okay. If we go in here, we can see that I've installed the plugin called Linksy, and we can see that I have uh, 276 uh, orphan posts. And an orphan post is a post where we don't have any links going to that post. And we want links to go to all our posts, so we interlink our site, um, yeah, all our articles in our site. The thing is that Linksy and, for example, Link Whisper, <clears throat> these uh, internal linking plugins, they do what is called omnipresent internal linking. So they interlink all the articles on your website um, and they don't really take into consideration categories. For this block, specific block here, I don't care about categories that much, um, so that's okay. Let's just go over how topical clustering would function. Um, there you divide articles into tier one and tier two articles where a cluster here that is a topic or a category. Then you have a pillar article called a tier one article. And then you have multiple tier two articles surrounding a pillar article talking about the topic itself in more detail and niche. And all the tier two link up to the tier one and all the tier two are also interconnected. Not all of them to all the others, but uh, maybe one tier two has three links or four links to other tier two articles. And then each and every tier two article is linking back to the tier one article. This way you create this web cluster um, of articles where everything is linking back to tier one. That would be your money article. That is not what we're doing here. I'm just saying that that is how you do topical clustering. This is not topical clustering. This is omni interlinking, which means that we're just going to interlink with the best fit article based on the suggestions. Okay. What is all the fuss about? We're going to go to add inbound links because this is where we can find, this is all your often posts that doesn't have any internal linking going to them. You click on one of these. We can then see up here that we have zero uh, going in and zero going out from this one. And you can then see suggestions on which words from other articles we would like to hyperlink. So this is anchor text hyperlinked anchor text going into this article. And we're going to use this quick apply approach. So we can just click quick apply and it will take the first five suggestions and link into this article. We will then see this number over here update to five. Awesome. And we can click up here. Oh, come on, click next. And then we go to the next article and we do the same click quick apply five and click next. And we do that 200 and something times. Um, 
and I'm not gonna do that. I am gonna use da -da -da, task magic to do that. So we installed Linksy, the plugin, and then we found out that we need to click a bunch of times to uh, make all that happen. And I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna build an automation. So let me just move this here and let's see how many we need just to keep track. We are gonna need uh, 275, so around 270 rep uh, repetitions. Let's go and build an automation. So I have this test workspace here. I will click add new automation and this is gonna be a web automation. Let me say uh, test internal linking like so and click save. That is that. Now we need to add some cookies because um, whenever you log into websites is like, I can just go up here. That was the edit this cookie plugin. Go up here, click on this button here, export. That's already covered. We then click here, add cookies, add cookies, and then click copy your cookies in and click save. Now we have cookies. Then I'm gonna add a VPN proxy because I have a proxy um, for this. I just go up here and then click add to automation. Now we have a proxy as well. So we have a dedicated IP um, that helps with the authentication of the stuff we're trying to do. Now let's start to automate. We'll just click the plus sign and click this record button. Then a bunch of tabs open. So first this one here, see if I can fit everything into screen. There we go. We have to wait until, okay. So we need to add the start, um, start URL. I'm gonna go here. Then I just move this out of the way one second. We're gonna go to inbound links and I'm gonna click on the first one. So we start at the first inbound link. So that would be this one. I'm just gonna copy the URL, move this back here, go up here and then paste that in. Click save, go to URL. I'm gonna just move away from this specific page. I don't know if it will interfere with it or not. Okay, we can now see that we are on this page, but we can't click this, uh, click quick apply. So I'm just gonna turn this on and not gonna save the steps because next time I'm gonna run the automation, this will already be on. So I'm gonna click expand here and you can see in the terminal, whatever it's called, it's gonna prompt me to, do you want to save this click I just did? No, not on that one. I'm gonna activate it. No, not save Do this, no. And back, no, okay. Now quick apply is turned on. I'll just click on quick apply. And now I want to save this step. We could like, we could add these uh, quick apply steppy things to the automation. But when we run the automation again, this will already be turned on. Then it would turn that off again. And we would have to disable them. Okay, we've now added five internal links. I'm gonna click up on next. We're gonna save that step and that's it. Like we've got then just gonna repeat step two and step three. I'm just gonna click on the play button here to see that it works. And then click this in here. We can see that it's gonna update this step here to five. And then I'm gonna click play on next. And yep, there we go. Then I'm gonna click I'm done. So we need to uh, change the trigger type to list. And then we get this you want to loop thingy. And we want to loop this 200 times, for example, click continue. And we want to loop step two and step three. But I can see that I forgot one detail here. I forgot to add some delays. So let's just add that in. Let's click on this plus, plus sign and click on record. This will bring up our two windows here. Then we are going to click. Come on, don't use the browser yet. Got it. So after this, um, like we load the URL, let's do a add a delay of 0 0.2 minutes. Click save. And then down here, scroll. After the click apply, let's add a delay again of uh, 0 0.3. Click save. Think I'm done. All right. That should be good. And now we want to increase this. So we're going to loop step two down to step five 200 times let's find a suitable starting um, post to start adding internal links to 
five mistakes beginners make. Awesome. Let's copy that URL. Let's add that as the starting URL. And this is what we need. We are now done. Let's click on play steps and see what it does. Opens up. Let me just move over here. This one over here. Let me open that one. So it now opened this. We can see it's running step one. Should be done. And then uh, step two is the delay. Then it's gonna do step three, which is click, click, quick apply. Then it's gonna click step, it's gonna, then it's gonna wait again to see if, like, to update all the stuff. So it now clicked, quick apply. Whoop. And the arrow down here should update to five. Yeah, hopefully before the time ends. And then it's gonna click up here on the next button. Once um, this delay is done, I click up there, click. There we go. And then updating. We don't have any links here, so we can't click on the quick apply on this one. So it's not all posts that it can suggest. Um, sometimes it needs to refresh the database. Now it's just going to run through the motions and then click on next. And then hopefully the next one will have something. You can see that it failed at step three. It's just going to continue to the next step. Um, but then it's going to find all the different steps. Um, or sorry, find all the different articles that it can add this inter internal linking to. Um, but that's how it's done. Um, I'm just gonna show you here. Let's see if it finds, no. The reason why it's not finding that many is because I've already run this automation yesterday. So let me just jump in here on this one, then close here. So this one, more or less the same thing. We ran this, or I ran this, yesterday and you can see that it ran for uh, 300 minutes that's around five hours um, and it looped through 430 uh, times so it interlinked 430 articles which is a lot yeah and that's the process of how to internal link your site um, without doing it yourself and wasting five hours clicking buttons. Um, <clears throat> just going to touch up upon, for example, this topical clustering that we talked about. Um, I'm working at the moment on an automation where we import. So we import all of our articles through a sitemap to a, a visual database. So here, for example, we then categorize them by title and add a main keyword and then we can set them to specifically tier two and tier one inside for example this is one category here so you can see all these are in category one all these down here are in category four so that would be one tier one and then the rest would be tier two for example we would then start to um, click and interlink these so we can then go ahead and see get from sitemap or crawl it and then interlink tier two, which would mean that it will start interlinking all the blue ones. And then we can click on this link tier one. What that will do is we'll take all the tier two articles and link uh, back to the tier one in that category. So we will have a large internal linking. Um, yeah. And these are their scripts in progress. Um, and this is a bit of a complex topic, but um, but it works, um, almost done with it. So that's gonna be awesome, where we can start to internal, uh, create internal links on large sites using this uh, topic cluster functionality. So I hope you learned something and saw something new. Um, there's some links in the description for the stuff I use and also a link for the free community where you can download a, um, like blogging automations and other free automations. So click there, go in, have a blast and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.